All right, everybody. So, new episode or a little pinchy out quickie, I guess is what we're gonna call it. And this is what happens when you own an oil catch can. <laughs> So oil catch cans. So what it does is that all your bypass from the crank and from the head, all the fumes that build up over time and the condensation. Keep in mind, uh, what I mean by condensation is when the car gets hot and cold, you're going to get moisture in it. No matter what, that's just the way it works. We have moisture in the air. So if you live in an area that has a lot of uh, what we call um, well, I guess uh, a lot of humidity you're gonna get more of this so over time this condensation builds up so through the breather down here in the crank and through here to the valve cover on the head these uh, con this condensation will build up and if you had a stock 1.8 T and you had an intake going here that just goes back in and recirculates into your system the downside of that is that you're going to have oil in your intercooler, you're going to have oily lines, and eventually you'll have some corrosion buildup. So, what a lot of these people do is, you know, let's get a catch can, which, you know, is the right thing to do. So, with the catch can, instead of it dumping it back into your system, you're dumping it into an actual can. And here's mine. I made a little bracket right here you'll see this little metal bracket and bolted it in it sits here really nice and firm and out of the way uh, so all these fumes come in from the crank and the head go into here and then they come out of the system through here um, so and it accumulates and then there's a little peg cock on the bottom uh, you turn that and then drops your junk so I took mine out I won't show you what it looks like, but here's the little uh, pink car. It's supposed to drain out of here, this little hole, and you get your you get your junk out. You know, well, I took it out and I took it all the way out because it was draining pretty slowly, and this is why. This is what came out of my catch can after 2,000 miles of driving, and you'll see. It's hard to tell, but here we go. Bottom is the water, and the top is the uh, oil. You notice it's turning into like a sludge almost. This is condensation with uh, oil and fuel vapor fumes that accumulate. You want this back in your engine? I don't think so. It's probably the worst thing you can do to any car, is dump this stuff in there. This is why you need an oil catch can, for this exact reason. This will give you a longer life. The only downside with catch cans is that they are a little stinky. Look at that, it looks gross. Catch cans are stinky by because what happens is you got all these vapors coming in. And what happens when they come in the catch can is in there and it's going to get hot. These vapors are really hot coming out of the engine and it's going to boil up. It's going to get really hot in there and you're going to get this uh, steam come out of it. And what's going to happen is you're going to get it coming out. I have what they call a Venta Atmosphere catch can. So all these fumes come out and you know you smell it in the engine bay and it's inside your car and it sucks but you reap the rewards. I think the reward outweighs the smell. Um, there are catch cans that are not uh, that aren't breathable um, that recirculate the fumes back into the car. You do need to get like a um, a fitting that can go into like your charge pipe or into your intake pipe. Uh, intake pipe, like if you had an intake, you could have it go into there and recirculate back in there. I don't know if there's going to be any benefits besides the fact you're going to just get get rid of the smell. So, give me a second. I'm filming right now. So there you go. As a pinche al quickie. That's uh, your guys' quickie for today. Get a catch can, make one yourself. It's super easy. Um, I ended up getting 
uh, integrated engineering uh, fittings for the crankcase and the valve cover. They're literally just you smack them in with a hammer and the bottom one just sits in and you put in uh, the clip, the original clip. And then I made these uh, fittings from uh, Amazon. All together it ran me about 120 bucks for the whole entire kit. And it looks really good and it works really, really well as you guys saw the end result. All right, everybody, that was uh, Pinche Al Quickie. I'm Pinche Al. Thanks for watching. Peace out.